so let's go for a uh, next level of quantum mechanics we have done the first level of uh, solving the problem with just solving the differential equation and we have get all the solution so we have solved particle in box infinite box finite box we have solved we have also solved harmonic oscillator and obviously we have used the schrodinger wave equation which is second order differential equation in term of space or position and we have solved it using the boundary condition and all these thing we can finally get the answer but in a quantum mechanics we have another method to solve different types of problem that is operator method so let's try to understand what is operator method <clears throat> and first we will so of use this operator method in harmonic oscillator and after then you will see that uh, we will use the same kind of operator method into angular momentum and spin and all the next level of analysis of quantum mechanics okay <clears throat> so obviously we have discussed all the basic property of harmonic oscillator classical what is the property of classical harmonic oscillator what is the property of quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator we have done all this thing so let's try to go for again all this thing with the new mathematical technique so let's try to go for harmonic oscillator with the operator methods okay <clears throat> so what is my harmonic oscillator my harmonic oscillator has hamiltonian and this hamiltonian is and this is one dimensional harmonic oscillator so px square upon 2m plus half m omega square x square where omega is my angular frequency and this can be directly associated to our k where k is force constant or a spring constant you can say so now we have to solve this particular hamiltonian we just want to calculate the eigen value and the eigen state of this harmonic oscillator with the help of without we just want to solve this eigen value and eigen state of this harmonic oscillator without solving the differential equation this is the whole idea so <clears throat> our first duty is that we have to make this equation cleaner so first we will clean this equation and then we will try to go for next level of calculation so if i am saying that if let's make this equation as a cleaner equation what do you mean by that dimensionless exactly very good so what we have to do we have to make it dimensionless so this is my classical hamiltonian so we will write the quantum mechanical hamiltonian in term of operator so we will write this is px square upon 2m and you have half m omega square x square and this thing can be easily <clears throat> written and px and x is our basically operator px operator is momentum operator x operator is position operator h is hamiltonian so let us introduce some dimension less quantity in our calculation so what are these so i can write and obviously when you are using the dimensionless if you are you just want to make the whole thing dimensionless then you have to use the parameter of the system as well as the universal constant so what is parameter of a system for the harmonic oscillator omega omega mass yes yes sir. mass is also parameter you have bigger mass you have a smaller mass omega is also parameter and what is universal constant for quantum mechanics h cut okay so this is the universal constant so look at here i can write x as root under h cut upon m omega x cap now can you see this is just like a dimension of length this is dimension of length can we check whether it is dimension of length or not jara dekho to oh 
हो रहा है क्या एच कट का डायमेंशन क्या होता है बड़ी डायमेंशन ऑफ एच कट एंगुलर मोमेंटम है ना एच कट है डायमेंशन ऑफ वॉट एंगुलर मोमेंटम सो दिस विल बी समथिंग आई इंटू ओमेगा बाई एम इंटू ओमेगा सो दिस ओमेगा ओमेगा इज कैंसिल वॉट इज आई आई हैज डायमेंशन ऑफ समथिंग एम आर स्क्वायर बाई एम सो यस दिस इज आर एंड दिस इज डायमेंशन ऑफ लेंथ सो इफ दिस इज डायमेंशन ऑफ लेंथ दिस इज डायमेंशन ऑफ लेंथ देन एक्स कैप इज वॉट डायमेंशन लेस यस एंड यू कैन सी वी आर यूजिंग द मास एंड ओमेगा एंड ओनली एच कट to make the thing dimensionless so you have to manipulate the thing okay you have to just manipulate the thing by multiplying division and all this kind of thing to make the thing dimensionless obviously this is very famous problem so everybody know that we have to take this one but sometime when you will go for the research problem and all this thing you have to make your dimensionless quantity with your own mathematical acumen and just watching and understanding the symmetry of a system okay now next target is that p x yes so can i write this this p x as dimension of momentum can i write this thing is m omega h cut p x cap can you justify that this is dimension of momentum or not <clears throat> so again we can go for what is h cut is dimension of angular momentum so m omega into i into omega and you can have m i is that m r square omega square so you have root under m square r square omega square you have m r omega omega into r is something like velocity mass into velocity is something like momentum so this is dimension of momentum so obviously this is dimension less quantity and similarly you can you have to also write h in this form and h can be written very famously you know h cut omega is dimension of energy and we have h cap so look at this beautiful arrangement of making your whole hamiltonian as a dimensionless quantity yes so now put the value of x px and h as a function of x cap px cap and h cap let's try to put it all this thing so when we will put it here then we have h cut omega h cap plus px square is all about m omega h cut upon 2m and this is my px square and you have half m omega square and what is your x square x square is all about h cut upon m omega x cap and when you have this particular thing this m and m is cancel out isn't it समथिंग लाइक पी एक्स कैप स्क्वायर अपॉन टू प्लस x cap square upon 2 yes sure. now this is my hamiltonian which is basically what dimension less everything is dimension less we can play with the numbers we can play with the numbers isn't it so these are our hamiltonian now look at the instinct how our instinct work if you are you were in your class 12 if you or class 10 rather not in 12 rather in class 10 if you have a square minus b square what you will do a minus b a plus b that yes, is intuitional that is natural yes, isn't it yes. 
Now, when we learn something and we reach into class 12, what is our, if we have A square plus B square? A plus IB, A minus IB. Exactly, A plus IB into A minus IB. So this instinct of writing the square term in a multiplication of two linear term is very obvious for us as a science student. Everyone is comfortable? Yes. Hannah? So now look at here. We have, if we can see this thing, we can write this whole operator as a something like a plus b, a plus ib into a minus ib. Isn't it? But not exactly that because this is not a number. This is a just a operators. Even if they are dimensional, dimensionless operator, we have to work with this. So we introduce some new operator and these operators is actually mathematical in nature. And this is one upon root two. I can write x cap plus i p x cap. I have intuition that here is two then I can take root 2 there. <coughs> and Hermitian conjugate of this operator is a dagger. And this value is 1 by root 2 x cap minus i x cap. And we have to also concern about the physical quantity. So if we are talking about the physical quantity, it should be the operator associated to some physical quantity must be always a Hermitian. So we have to create one more operator which must be Hermitian such that we can associate it with some physical quantity, some real quantity which can be measurable into the lab. So deliberately we can write a new operator and this operator is nothing but we can write a dagger a. So if we are writing this a dagger a, it's a very interesting, we can have 1 upon 2 and you have x cap minus i p x cap into x cap plus i p x cap. And a dagger a, an operator, if we are taking an operator as a dagger a, and we are taking the dagger form of this one, then what you will get? You will get a dagger, a dagger to the power dagger, then you have a dagger a, which is exactly n. So this is Hermitian matrix. The eigenvalue and the eigen state of this Hermitian matrix must be real. This is very important thing. And let's try to calculate what will be this particular operator. Ye particular operator kya deta hai? This will not give you exactly this thing. Because you have x cap, px cap and px cap, x cap. Okay. So let's try to go for this. Kya mil raha hai So we have half x cap into x cap is what? x cap is square. i p x cap into i p x cap is minus i p x cap minus p x square. And this minus will work here. So we have basically p x cap square. Now we have a cross term. We have plus i. You have x cap into p x cap minus p x cap into x cap with this particular thing and yes half is associated to all this point this is my n operator the clear <clears throat> this derivation is very important okay so you have to do a lot of practice about this type of derivation because our problem solve karenge, then it will it should be come automatically in your calculation okay yeah, the clear, Anna? Everyone? Yes, sir. Chalega kya sare? Hmm?
चलो सो दिस इज माई एन ऑपरेटर एंड दिस एन ऑपरेटर कैन बी रिटर्न एज हाफ एक्स कैप स्क्वायर प्लस पी एक्स कैप स्क्वायर प्लस आई कम्यूटेशन ऑफ एक्स कैप एंड पी एक्स कैप so what will be commutation of x cap and px cap i h cross i h cross no here i x and px are different this is dimensionless so how you will get i h cut you have commutation between x and px is i h cut so let us try to calculate it so let us try to calculate the commutation between x cap and px cap so i can write x cap as a function of x so this will be m omega upon h cut x and px cap is equal to 1 upon root m omega h cut px yes so m omega m omega is cancel you have 1 upon h cut x and px what is x and px what is x and I px h I, I, h I, so you have i h cut upon h cut so this will be cancel you will get i so now we have an operator and this an operator is half x cap square plus px cap square and this is bracketed with all this thing okay minus i into i is minus half isn't it and what is this operator h cap h cap isn't it so now look at the beautiful part look at this beautiful part we have h cap operator as n plus half yes look at you this is also harmonic cos this is, h cap operator is n plus half isn't it this h cap operator is something like n plus half and this is just a linear in term here you have x square px cap square all this thing is there you do some beautiful manipulation and you write your hamiltonian in a dimensionless form as n plus half and if i am talking about half obviously there is identity matrix in form of matrix so i can write this whole thing as h upon h cut omega is equal to n plus half obviously i is always there so your h hamiltonian that is hamiltonian for the harmonic oscillator is nothing n plus half h cut omega wow isn't it this is beautiful sir this is beautiful really this is beautiful if you want to see beauty in a physics beauty in a mathematics and once you will get the linear term this is the most beautiful thing isn't it because you can yes, solve sir. it very easily and we yes for the physicist for the mathematician if you are able to solve the thing nicely simply with the logic it's really beautiful so you use a very nice word so yes it's a beautiful now the whole idea is that how we will get the eigen value and eigen state of all this thing and if you are getting the eigen value then obviously the energy will be quantized energy have to be quantized because we are talking about the bound state then what will be the allowed number we know that allowed number is equal to 0 1 2 3 from our differential equation method but how we will use logic here 
to get that particular or we can regenerate that result again this is awesome this is interesting isn't it so yes, let's try to go for a next level of calculation <clears throat> what we have we have actually <clears throat> h operator and h is nothing but n plus half h cut omega look at this is my harmonic oscillator this is my harmonic oscillator isn't it now <clears throat> i can assume n is obviously hermitian operator so n is going to operate on n kit i will get let's say some n kit yes this is just abstract notation that n will operate on n we will get some n kit some n into n kit obviously this n is real number why it should be real number Sir, I can value is real because uh, n is Hermitian. Because Hermitian n is operator. Hermitian, so it must be a real number. And the beautiful thing is that h is going to commute with n. H is going to commute with n. That means the eigenstate of n must be also eigenstate of h. You can have this sort of information. So, if you have this sort of information, then H n is equal to n plus half n ket H ket omega, and we will get n plus half n ket and n plus half H ket omega n ket. Yes, and what is my eigenvalue? The eigenvalue is equal to n plus half h cut omega. And what is my eigenstate? Eigenstate is n cut. But here is a big question what should be this n? What should be this n? Obviously, this n is real. We are 100% agreed that this n is real. But in spite of this n is real, there may be different type of combination. So what are the allowed value of n? We have to figure it out next. Here is a question. Hai? Everyone is comfortable? <clears throat> so let's try to go for a algebra part. Okay, so we will go for algebra. And we will just see what are the property of A, A dagger, and all this thing. So let's first try to find the value of A and A dagger. Let's try to figure it out. What is A and A dagger? What is A? 1 upon root 2, sorry, x cap plus ipx cap and what is a dagger x cap minus i p x cap by root 2 we have to get this calculation so obviously x cap x cap is going to commute that is 0 p x cap p x cap is going to commute so we have basically x cap and i p x cap plus the second commutation is sorry x cap and minus ipx cap isn't it minus ipx cap and second commutation is ipx cap and x cap all other commutation is zero so what is x cap and px cap avitrut nikala tha kya tha minus i 
एक्स कैप एंड पी एक्स कैप इज वॉट आई है ना अभी तो सॉल्व किया था प्लस आई पी एक्स कैप एंड एक्स कैप इज माइनस आई सो आई इंटू आई इज वन सो दैट इज वन इंटू वन इज वन आई इंटू आई इज माइनस वन माइनस वन इंटू माइनस वन इज वन प्लस वन एंड दैट वैल्यू इज वन सो वी हैव दिस कम्यूटेशन इज इक्वल इन टू वन ओके सो सिमिलरली वॉट वी हैव वी हैव ए डायगर ए इज इक्वल टू ऑब्वियसली माइनस वन सो इफ यू हैव दिस पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन देन लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर a some more algebra and where we will try to figure it out what will be the allowed value of n so let's try to get the value of n a the commutation between n and all these commutations are very important for your exam point of view okay all these commutations so let's try to do this so what is your n this is something like a dagger a and a and you can write this value is a dagger a and you can write a afterward what is a dagger a minus 1 minus so you have this value is minus a so we have n a is equal to minus a and if we have this kind of situation n a minus a n is equal to minus a okay yahan tak to clear hai na good so what we are going to do <clears throat> we are just applying n kit on both side so we have n kit minus a n n kit is equal to minus a n kit n will operate on n kit what you will get batao n will operate on n kit what you will get n n kit n n kit so i can write this n a n minus n will operate on n kit we can write n and n is number so we can write it here So this value is minus a n, and what you will get n a n is equal to n minus one. You have a n. ठीक है ना? Now look at here. Can anybody make a conclusion here? <clears throat> Can anybody make a conclusion here? <coughs> yes या नो कुछ कंक्लूजन दे सकते हो हाँ बताओ बताओ क्या बोल रहे हो सो यू हैव कंक्लूजन दैट ए एन इज ऑल्सो आइगन स्टेट आइगन स्टेट ऑफ एन विथ Eigen value n minus वन नहीं n अगर ए एन के ऊपर ऑपरेट हो रहा है तो आपको क्या मिल रहा है n माइनस वन एन इज गोइंग टू ऑपरेट ऑन ए एन वॉट यू आर गेटिंग यू आर गेटिंग समथिंग लाइक एन माइनस वन यस या नो यस सर ठीक है ओके गुड सो नाउ फ्रॉम द लॉजिक एन विल ऑपरेट ऑन एन वी विल गेट एन एन सो इफ एन विल ऑपरेट ऑन एन माइनस वन व्हाट यू विल गेट फ्रॉम दिस लॉजिक n minus 1 very good n minus 1 n minus 1 n, 
and here you have n a n is also getting n minus 1 a n yes look at this logic this is very interesting so from here you can compare n to n n minus n to n minus 1 so can i say that a n is proportional to vector n minus 1 ke sakte na not exactly the same vector but it may be proportional to this one <clears throat> are you people happy with this logic yes sir yes okay now if you are happy with this logic i can write a n is equal to some constant c minus i deliberately give you minus because here is minus that is n minus 1 and this is your norms this is nothing but your norms c minus you cannot claim that this will be something normalized okay this is normalized this is normalized you have n and m is delta nm we assume this as a orthonormal basis because n is my hermitian matrix and for the hermitian matrix different value of if you have different eigen value their eigen vectors are orthogonal and we can easily normalize it so we can easily make them orthonormal so it's a very trivial but here you cannot claim that this is your normalized one but this is proportional proportionality and normalized are two different thing now <clears throat> let us try to get c minus so if i will write the whole thing in a bra part if we are going to write the whole thing as a bra then what is going to happen kya hoga zara batao bra n a dagger very good bra n a dagger is equal to c minus c star, minus star, star bra n minus 1 bra n minus 1 very good now let us try to combine these two thing so we can write n a dagger a n is equal to let me clean this one plus of c c wait 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 so n a dagger a n this will be mod c square n minus 1 n minus 1 likh sakte na <clears throat> now what will be this value so 1 1 very good this value is 1 a dagger a is what n so i Number can write better. n n n is equal to mod c square n will operate on n you will get n n n is equal to mod c square so c minus must be equal to root n and you have a new operator then this operator is wonderful a is going to operate on n what you will get you will get root n and you will just destroy one particular state up to next level a is going to operate on n that will be you just go for n minus 1 and please this is norms of your vector so this is mod square so mod c minus square is equal to n so here i can give guarantee that n must be positive yes yes sir so here we can get the first condition that n must be positive n ki value negative nahi ho sakti hai it may be possibility it may be possible that ye zero ho sakta hai ki uske bare mein baat karenge but yes n is not negative now now if n is positive it may be fraction or it may be integer yahi do cheez to ho sakta hai 
Yes, sir. Yes. So now look at how logic will play. A will operate. Suppose I assume if n is fraction. अगर n आपके पास fraction है, then what is going to happen? If suppose a will operate on three by two, what you will get? बताओ अगर ऐसा रहता तो क्या होगा रूट थ्री बाई टू रूट थ्री बाई टू एंड यू विल हाफ केट वन बाई टू ओके एंड नाउ इफ ए विल ऑपरेट ऑन हाफ केट व्हाट यू विल गेट माइनस हाफ इज एंट इट है ना अगर ए हाफ पर ऑपरेट करेगा तो क्या होगा यू विल गेट समाइम इफ यू आर सक्सेसिव Doing this a operator, a operator again and again and again, and if your n is fraction, sometime you will get the negative value. Yes, and which is not acceptable. Which is not acceptable. So I can make a conclusion. What is conclusion? N. Sorry, <clears throat> the conclusion is n is. Not a fraction. N cannot be fraction. So let's try to check what will happen when n is some integer. So if n is some integer, a will operate on let's say three. What you will get? क्या मिलेगा आपको? Root three two. A will get two. Root two one, a will get one. Root one zero, and a will get zero. You will get zero because this number is zero. And if you are going to multiply anything with zero, that will be zero. You cannot go up to next level. You are going to keep yourself at one fundamental level. So there is some cut off, some cut off level of n. and that cut off level of n we can assume that n is equal to what zero so the lowest value of n is nothing but zero so if n is zero what are the next higher level so we will discuss this all thing into next class and in the next class we will discuss this thing and then we will also try to figure it out what will be n ket okay and then we will try to solve different types of problem based on operators are you getting my point so this is your first thing so what we have done we have learned that the minimum value of n is zero from using this a operator so similarly we will again go for a dagger operator and we will recreate the same story but result will be different so you will just take one day gap such that you can sync this all particular calculation such that next class will be very natural for you okay so if you have any doubt you can raise your question <clears throat> clear eh yes sir okay so please Do this calculation with yourself, okay? एक बार आप सारा calculation खुद करने की कोशिश करो and कल की class में हम लोग इसे finish करेंगे okay? Thank you. Why n Thank is you, not sir. a fraction, sir? Please say this. भाई n अगर fraction होता तो minimum value of n जो है वो negative नहीं हो जाती yes, sir. देखो अगर थ्री बाई टू को पर आप ऑपरेट किया तो हाफ आया फिर हाफ पर ऑपरेट करें तो माइनस हाफ नहीं आ जा रहा है आ रहा है या नहीं और यहां हमारे पास कंक्लूजन क्या है कि एन की वैल्यू हमारा फ्रैक्शन नेगेटिव नहीं होनी चाहिए ये देखो ना लुक एट दिस थिंग एन की वैल्यू नेगेटिव तो नहीं होनी चाहिए ना ये मॉड है मॉड वैल्यू कैन नॉट बी नेगेटिव यस तो ये अगर नेगेटिव नहीं होगा 
और अगर आप एन की वैल्यू को फ्रैक्शन लोगे और मल्टीपल ऑपरेट करोगे तो एक समय तो नेगेटिव वैल्यू आपको मिल ही जाएगा एन का है कि नहीं तो हमें उसको डिस्कार्ड करना पड़ा लेकिन एन अगर इंटीजर है तो क्या हो रहा है ये ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है एन अगर इंटीजर है तो आप लास्ट में आकर के एक लेवल पर रुक जा रहे हो उसके नीचे आपको कुछ भी नहीं मिल रहा है यू आर गेटिंग नल वेक्टर वॉट इज नल वेक्टर फंडामेंटल वेक्टर जीरो वेक्टर है ना समथिंग लाइक ओरिजिन यस अब उसके नीचे कहां जाओगे आप आर गेटिंग माई पॉइंट आपको जब कुछ भी नहीं मिल रहा है इसके बाद तो आप कहां जाओगे आप किसके ऊपर ऑपरेट करोगे इसे आर गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो देयर इज वन फंडामेंटल लेवल देयर इज वन लोएस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ एन विच इज अलाउड दैट इज एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो देयर इज कट ऑफ लेवल फॉर एन फॉर द इफ यू आर गोइंग डाउनवर्ड सेक्शन वी विल सी वेदर वी कैन गो अपवर्ड सेक्शन वहां भी कट ऑफ वैल्यू है या नहीं है हो भी सकता है नहीं भी हो सकता डिपेंड्स ऑन योर कैलकुलेशन जैसे यहां आप देखोगे नेक्स्ट क्लास में कि देयर इज नॉट एनी अपर लिमिट बट इसी तरह के कैलकुलेशन हम जब एंगुलर मोमेंटम एल जेबरा में करेंगे वी विल सी देयर इज लोअर लिमिट एज वेल एज देयर इज अपर लिमिट ओके सो दिस इज एल जेबरा ओके क्वांटम मैकेनिकल एल जेबरा एंड यू हैव टू बी वेरी मच कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट दिस टाइप ऑफ कैलकुलेशन एंड एल जेबरा ठीक है चलो आई होप You will appreciate my logic, है ना Yes. Okay. चलो Thank you. Take care. Thank you, sir.